If you took on a mortgage at 7 or 8%, you might be thinking of refinancing right now with rates down around 6.5%. So should you refi or wait a bit longer for an even lower rate? Mortgage broker Paul Luck says he's busier than he's been in two years. And we'll be able to go to the next step. Awesome. Anything I need to do? And we have a lot of customers calling us to do a refinance. And there are options to do it now. When you go from a almost 8% rate down to a six and a quarter, you're saving a lot of money. Audrey Fuller is one homeowner paying a higher rate and hoping to refi her condo to lower her monthly payments. I would like to see I'm under five. It would be like $200 savings. Every month? Every month. If you're considering a refi, don't forget expenses such as the application fee, appraisal fee, and credit report fee. Finance company Freddie Mac says the average closing costs on a refinance are about $5,000. The site Investopedia says plan for 2 to 6% of the loan amount. Danielle Hale with Realtor.com says to think about how much longer you'll be in the home. Because the longer you're there, the more you get to reap the benefits of those savings. But if you're planning to move over the next few years, um, then it might not make as much sense to refinance. She says use an online mortgage or refinance calculator to see if refinancing will save you money. It is a bit of a balancing act. Uh, no one knows exactly where mortgage rates are going to be. Lastly, there are signs the Federal Reserve could cut interest rates as soon as September. Now, should I refi now or wait till November or December when rates might be lower? That's a good question. John, I always say take the bird in hand. You can't, can you predict the future? That way you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris.